All right, so I wanted to do this video on what I actually eat on a given day. Now, the reason why I'm hesitant to do this video is simply because um, it's nothing exciting. And, um, you know, I'm not your average person. I can eat the same thing every single day. My wife has to have variety. I don't. I primarily eat for health. Most people don't eat for health. So realize when I tell you this, this is just what I eat. You can eat whatever you want to eat. Just make sure it's keto friendly. When most people start keto, um, they do need desserts. They need variety to keep it interesting. So uh, realize this is just uh, a kind of a, an example of what I eat. Now presently I eat one and a half meals a day. I'm going to tell you why. Um, I would normally eat one meal a day, but if I do that, I tend to lose a little too much weight. Um, and it's very difficult for me to consume the amount of calories in one meal. So I kind of spread it out. So it's not two full meals. It's like one and a half. The first meal is between one to two o'clock, okay, in the afternoon. And the second meal is between five and six o'clock p.m. So that gives me kind of a fasting range between 19 hours and 21 hours. Now, I also want to differentiate the difference between keto and healthy keto. Keto basically is just low carbs. They're not focused on the nutrition, okay, the nutrients. The benefit is from the lowering of your carbs. Healthy keto factors in the nutrient-dense foods, okay? And this is why I recommend the healthy keto plan with this X factor called intermittent fasting. It seems to work great on pretty much everyone. All right, what do I eat in the first meal? I consume a combination of protein and fat mostly. Uh, some vegetables, but not too much. I may do four eggs with onions with some fermented veggies. And so I get these fermented veggies from the farmer's market. Sometimes I get them from Amazon and make sure that they don't have sugar in them. I might also do asparagus um, and I'll just have that raw and I'll just chew on like maybe five, uh, five little stalks of asparagus. Now realize someone um, took my video out of context and they said, um, Dr. Berg eats all this food in one meal, which is not true. So when I give you these examples, you're not supposed to add them up, okay? I don't eat all of these. This is four eggs, onions, slash fermented vegetables, or <laughs> hamburger, half a pound, but not both together, okay? So I just wanna clarify that. Now, I consume a lot of hamburger, why? Because hamburger is a lot more fatty than steak. And um, I never buy the 90% lean, I buy the 75 to 80%, uh, so it's more fatty. I'll consume about a half a pound with sauerkraut. So that would be my protein. I make sure that it's grass-fed, grass-finished, and a bit fatty. I do buy a lot of my hamburger from US Wellness Meats. Um, I'm not, I don't get any commission off that, FYI. Now, another option I might consume, especially if I'm in a rush, is summer sausage. I found one that has less than one gram of sugar, okay? And I, I put the link down below. It's pretty good and it's all organic. So that's good. It's very hard to find summer sausage um, without having some dextrose or other types of sugar in it. And I'll, I will consume about eight ounces of that, okay? It's very fast. I'll cut it up and sometimes I'll add cheese to it. Uh, maybe I'll have uh, some Swiss cheese. The cheese is always grass-fed, organic, and primarily from Europe. Um, it's not Velveeta, okay. Now, other times I'll have some salmon. I'm very, very spoiled with salmon because sometimes you get this salmon that is old or it's, um, if you go to a restaurant, it's overcooked and it just doesn't taste that great. So um, I make my own salmon and I just uh, fry it with olive oil, put sea salt and pepper, and then I'll put um, mayo. Um, I, I like the Primal Kitchen mayo because it doesn't have any sugar and the oil is avocado oil, and that's what I'll consume. And sometimes I'll add olives to my meal. I like olives. So that's pretty much what I eat. Now, right after the meal, I might add some pecans because I might not be satisfied. So maybe a handful of pecans. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll do celery and peanut butter. The peanut butter is organic, Valencia, salted. I get that from Trader Joe's. Uh, I've done videos on that. It's a pretty good peanut butter. And sometimes I'll add a little chocolate. Now, of course, this is sugar-free chocolate. There's a lot of different keto-friendly chocolate uh, things out there. Um, the one that I like now is just with chocolate and stevia. 
I'll put a link down below of a few. You may not like these because when you sweeten chocolate with stevia, it gives you this little aftertaste, which I don't seem to mind. Karen won't consume it. So she does Lily's chocolate, which is um, a little bit tastier, but I find that that throws off my digestive system. If I have chocolate with just stevia, it doesn't bother my digestive system at all. And I'll just do like three ounces of that chocolate. Okay, so now that's the simplicity of what I eat um, for my first meal. Second meal, all right, I will primarily start with the veggies, okay? Usually eight cups of salad, sometimes seven, sometimes 10, um, but it's this bowl of salad. I'll start eating that. I like to use arugula or a greens mix from the farmer's market simply because sometimes the salad that you buy at the grocery store is just completely empty. The ideal situation would be to have you consume salad from your own garden. I'm gonna do some videos on that. That would be the best thing because you can control how much nutrition that's in that salad. I really believe that people do not like salad because they've never tasted really good salad grown on really good soils. So I highly recommend you seek out some good salad so you can taste what it normally should taste like, okay? Now I put some sea salt on my salad. I might add avocado, maybe some nuts, but not too many other things. I use a lot of olive oil, uh, but not your regular olive oil. I get my olive oil from Italy. Uh, I'm sure there's other types of olive oil out there, but just make sure it's fresh because most of the olive oil out there doesn't even taste like anything. It should have a very fresh, uh, almost like a grass cut taste, um, kind of a little spicy. And so I just dump a lot of olive oil on there and I'll put balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, that's all I use. Now, I may have a different type of salad, uh, chopped cabbage and carrot, okay? And I always use a combination of white cabbage and red cabbage. I have one of those little choppers that I just put it in there and I chop it down. And if I'm doing that, I'm not gonna do eight cups. I'm gonna do like three and a half cups because it's very dense. And I'll put some mayo on it from Primal Kitchen. Um, and uh, I just love that. That seems to really digest well. And that would be my vegetable for the day. Now, sometimes I might just do a steamed cauliflower, four cups uh, with a lot of butter and sea salt and pepper. All right, do I add any protein? Occasionally, sometimes I'll do like a half a can of cod liver, not cod liver oil, but cod liver. You can search it, it's out there, it's pretty awesome. Most of it's wild caught and it's not bad tasting and it's very high in fat and it has some protein in there, not too much. If you do a whole can of cod liver, um, you're gonna be very filled up. And sometimes I do that as well, depending on if I've exercised very intensely and I need to eat more. Now, I also might add some summer sausage, not at eight ounces, but maybe four ounces, okay? It's really quick, it gives me a little protein, and maybe I'll put a little Swiss cheese with that. Uh, I may add some pecans, I may add celery with that peanut butter I mentioned, um, just until I'm satisfied, okay? So that's pretty much what I eat. Now, what do I fry the eggs in? Beef tallow. Where do I get my greens? Preferably from the farmer's market if I can. Sometimes I can't go there, so I will just buy the arugula from the store. It has to be organic, of course. And when tomatoes are in season, I will consume a tremendous amount of tomatoes from the farmer's market, or I will consume them from the garden. Um, but I will not consume a tomato unless it's a good tasting one, which means that it has a lot of nutrition. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's what I eat. Pretty boring, but it's workable. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.